Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to find the X value or the random variable X for a normal distribution. And I will be using the normal table to help you find this. So what we have is in a population, the heights of women are normally distributed with a mean of 63.6 inches and a standard deviation of 2.5 inches. So what we will be using to find this is our X value can be found by taking the mean and adding the z-score times the standard deviation. So you do need to find your mean. In this case, our mean would be 63.6, and our standard deviation would be 2.5. Okay, we're going to use the table to find our z-score. So the first one that we're going to be looking for is we're going to look for the value of the height for a woman in the top 10th percentile. So remember that this will be centered at 63.6, and then we're counting out 2.5 standard deviations to the left and to the right. All right, so what we need to do is we're first going to look at the area that we're looking for or the percentage that we're looking for. Okay, so we have top 10th percentile means that we have 10% to the right and since we're using the normal table, the table that I use does give the area to the left. So the first thing that we have to do is one minus the area to right, which is 0.9. In this case, it's easy to find. If it is difficult to find, you can always find this area and then just report the opposite z-score. We know that our z-score needs to be positive because of the fact that 10% of the area to the right is less than 50% of the area to the right. So we do know that we want a positive z-score, that our value is going to be higher than the 63.6. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to look for the closest thing in our normal table to 0.9. So let me grab my normal table. And so what we're going to do is we're going to be looking over here at these values to find the one that is closest to 0.9. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the positive side and I'm going to scroll till I find 0 0.90 or the closest thing. And I can see that 0 0.8997 and 0 0.9015, that 0 0.9 falls between those, but closer to the 0.8997. So what I'm going to do is come across this row and get 1.2. And I'm going to go up the column to get the last decimal place, 8. So I can say that my z-score is equal to 1.28. Again, you could have looked at the opposite z-score, which would have been negative, or sorry, just looked for the 0 0.10 that was given, and then reported the opposite z-score. So if you notice right here that um, 0 0.10 is between 0 0.0985 and 0 0.1003, it's closer to the 0 0.1003, and so what I would do is I would go across to get the negative 1.2 and I would use the 8 at the top and remember we would want to report the opposite z-score because we want the positive value for this one. Okay, so now all you would have to do is plug this into your calculator and so you would take 63.6 plus 1.28 and then multiply that by 2.5. So I already plugged this into my calculator and I ended up with X is approximately 66.8 inches. And so this would end up being my random variable X to start the height of women in the top 10th percentile. So anything, anyone that is 66.8 inches or taller would be in the top 10th percentile. All right, looking at the next one, we're still going to use the same uh, mean and standard deviation. But what's going to change is our z-score. So we have to find our z-score for this one. And so what we're doing this time is we're looking for the height for a woman taller than 35% of other women. So that means our area to the left is going to be 0.35. Okay, so again, what we would do is grab our table. 0.35 is less than 0.5, so we know we're going to have a negative z-score because it's less than 50%. And so if I come through in here, I see that it's directly or it's in between, 0.35 is in between 0.3483 
and 0 0.3520. It's slightly closer to this one because 0.35 is 17 or 0 0.0017 from here, but 0 0.002 from here. So it's slightly closer to this one. So we're going to use negative 0 0.39 as our z-score. Okay. So I would put in a negative 0 0.39 as my z-score and then I would again just plug that into my calculator so we end up with x is approximately 62.6 inches. So this one is below the mean because of the fact that 35% of women would be less than 50% which would put us at a z-score of zero. All right and then the last one that we're going to look at is if the heights are equidistant from the mean so that tells us that we have two values that are the same distance from the mean. Okay, um, so this would be my first x value and my second x value. And we want 88% of the information to be in between that, so 0.88. So what I'm going to do first is find the negative z-score. So I'm going to find this one. So I'm going to need to find the area that is to the left of this lower value. So to do that, I would do 1 half, 1 minus 0.88, the area in between. And the reason that I'm doing that is 1 minus 0.88 will give me the area in these two tails. So that would be 0.12. And then I would take half of that, which would be 0.06. Okay. Um, I'm just going to find this z-score and then I know that the z-score for the second one is just going to be the opposite. So I'm going to look in my table for the closest thing to 0 0.006. I'm sorry, not 0 0.006, 0 0.06. Um, so if I go through here, we can see that it's in between 0 0.0594 and 0 0.0606 which means that it's exactly in the middle because both of those are 0 0.0006 away or six ten thousandths away from both of them. So technically it would be best to use negative 1.555, but I'm just gonna go ahead and round it to the six. The negative 1.56 is the value that I'm going to use. And remember that our second z-score would just be the positive one in order for them to be equidistant from the mean. So we're going to use our formula again. And so our first x value would be 63.6 plus our z-score of negative 1.56 times the standard deviation of 2.5. And when I plug that into my calculator, my first x value is going to be 59.7 inches. So my first value is 59.7. My second one, I'm going to do the same process, 63.6, but this time I'm gonna use the positive z-score and then multiply it by 2.5. And when I plug that into my calculator, I end up with approximately 67.5 inches. Okay, so approximately 88% of women fall in this population fall between 59.7 inches and 67.5 inches. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.